Welcome to Midwest Sports Net. I'm Joey McWilliams. I am joined today on the summit by Chris Wright in his first season as the head coach at Langston. Coach, it's a privilege to get to visit with you today. Thank you for taking time. And your team, 12 and 0 now in uh, overall play, 7 and 0 in Sooner Athletic Conference play. Coach, you're undefeated as the Langston coach in your entire tenure there. So congratulations for that. But talk about uh, the great way to start the season. Yeah, no, absolutely. Hey, all is right in the world, right? We're 12 and 0. Uh, um, you know, hey, I, I'm really proud of our guys. They've uh, they've done a tremendous job. Um, you know, especially coming into a program that has won one game over the previous two seasons combined. Um, you know, so I think it's 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 really neat to be a part of a turnaround like this. And again, all all the credit goes to our you know to our players and assistant coaches. Both those groups have been phenomenal so far. Well, coach, let's talk about your your most recent game on Monday night, other than an exhibition game. But on on Monday night, you get a victory, 86-74 over Wayland Baptist, the preseason favorite in the Sooner Athletic Conference. Good play from Tristan Harper, 8-for-8 eight eight from the field, A.J. Rainey, 11-for-11 11 11 from the free throw line. The two combined for 35 points, uh, 22 and 13 respectively. So uh, it, it obviously was a, a fantastic win for the program. That was a, a, a benchmark, too. It was. It was a. It was a huge game for us. Um, you know, Wayland Baptist is really good. They're going to be in the mix to win the league when uh, when all the dust is settled. You know, they already have a really good team, and they're adding two studs here. Uh, you know, within the next week, that's going to make them even better. And so, yeah, to be able to to come out and win that game, um, you know, really puts us in in good position in the Sooner Athletic Conference uh, going forward. You know, and then you you kind of alluded to our exhibition game. Um, so that was great. You know, we we nine out of our top ten guys stayed at home and got to rest. You know, we were able to play some you know some guys that don't typically get minutes, and so um, that was great for them after the Wayland Baptist game to kind of you know really gain that experience because who knows you know we're going to need those guys down the road. Well, some of those guys, I mean, we mentioned Tristan Harper. He's leading the team for you, 16 points per game. Anthony White, 13.4 points per game. And both of those players have nine of 12 games in which they've scored in double figures. Yeah, so Tristan Harper is, obviously, he's he's extremely talented. I mean, he's he's a mid-major, uh, you know, talent, in my opinion. Uh, he was in our conference last year when I was at Talladega College. Um, so he was in middle Georgia and the first time we played him, he had 30 on us and we, we couldn't guard him. And so I tell people all the time, it's a lot better having him on our team instead of game planning, uh, yeah. you know, to stop him. Um, you know, Anthony White's a transfer from IUP, one of the best, uh, division two programs in the country. And he's been man, super, super efficient, you know, shooting over 50% from three. Um, you know, he's, he's an older guy. He's, he's a fifth year senior as well. And so. Man, having those two guys kind of anchor our team from an offensive standpoint has been, uh, you know, makes my job a lot easier as a coach. <laughs> We're speaking with Coach Chris right here on the Summit on Midwest Sportsnet. I encourage you, please like this video, share the video if you can, and subscribe to the channel. We would appreciate that a lot. Every subscription helps. We talk about small college sports and more throughout the Midwest and beyond right here. And Coach, I want to go over some numbers with you really quickly and, and looking at what you all have done. And ask you about this play. Okay, you're, you're first in the NAI in free throws made, so that's a, a nice mark there. You're eighth in field goal percentage at 52.3%. So looking at that, I think that you might be up there high in scoring. 84 points a game is pretty high, but not at the top. And so how do these numbers break down? Well, I got to looking at it. Eighth and you know, are, are you just not shooting three-pointers very well? Well, that's not true. You're eighth in the country in free throw or three-point percentage too at 40.6 points per game or 40.6 three-point percentage. Let me get that down. So what's the deal? It's that you're just not shooting that many three-pointers. I mean, 202nd out of 230-some-odd teams in the NAI in shooting three-pointers, so the attempts are not there. I guess the bottom line is most of your game happens inside the arc. Yeah, and so, you know, I think kind of there's a couple of things that kind of um, lend itself to those numbers. So number one, you know, we're, you know, we don't play extremely fast. You know, I would say we're probably in the bottom – you know, out of 238 NAI teams, we're probably in the bottom 15% as far as, you know, pace of play. Um, you know, if it's a make or miss, typically we're going to walk it up and make teams guard us and execute, you know, off turnovers. We'll let our guys get out and run and make plays. But, um, you know, uh, my reason for that is just we want to be able to beat, you know, the best teams on our schedule. You know, we want to have a chance to win a national championship. And this is kind of the, uh, you know, the formula that worked for us at, at, at Talladega. And so, you know, we're built around our defense, but, you know, offensively, we've been extremely efficient. You know, I think we're shooting about 52% from the field as a team, 
Um, mm -hmm. But yeah, we, we really want to get paint touches. That's a number that we really emphasize. You know, we try to get 45 plus paint touches every game, you know, right? So whether that's throwing the ball inside or our guards penetrating. And so a lot of our threes, you know, they are, they're inside out threes. Well, coach, uh, you know, and again, I, I think 84 points a game is a pretty good number. Even if you are slowing it down, that's that's impressive in its own right. It shows that you are shooting the ball well. But talk about the defensive play, too, then, giving up just 57.3 points per game. That is at the top of the NAI, and you're going to win a lot of contests when you're leading the country in the, the defensive points that you're giving up. Well, thank you for that. You know, I, uh, you know, the, the points per game, so it's a nice stat, but, you know, I'm honestly, I'm not happy with the way we are defensively. You know, we, we have, uh, you know, we, we have, we have a lot of room for improvement, believe it or not. Um, you know, just, just still a lot of breakdowns, a lot of things that we can really clean up. Um, you know, like I, that's our identity. You know, I expect us to be the best defensive team in the country year in and year out. We have really good players. You know, we have athleticism at every position and, um, you know, I, I think we're going to improve a lot, you know, over the next month of basketball that we have. Um, you know, Wayland Baptist is really good, but man, I, you know, was not thrilled with how we guarded in that game. So we, we have a lot to clean up there. All right. Well, there's always room for improvement. That's, that's one of those things coach. And, and that's where you want to be still though, still though tops in the country in, in, in a few categories, it's, it's not bad. So I, I would commend you all for that. You look ahead then a little bit, William Woods, you take on William Woods on the road up in Missouri. Uh, that's coming up on Monday. A little bit of a break then, then you and that's out of conference play. Then you start back in Sooner Athletic Conference play after the start of the year, January fifth. You're hosting John Brown. That's a Thursday night, and then Saturday you're hosting Texas Wesleyan. So, uh, where do we go from here? Yeah, so the William Woods game that'll be a challenge. Uh, they're seven and four on the year. Um, Charles Belt there has, has done a really good job. He's a good coach. Uh, those guys will be locked in and ready to play. They're really good at home. Really good at home. And so that'll be a, a nice test for us. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's kind of funny um, looking back to the beginning of the season. Um, again, you know, we took over a program that had won one game. Um, but looking at our schedule, I really wanted to give our guys a vision for what we could achieve. And so the, for, through the first 13 games, we literally went game by game. And, and you know, I just said, hey, I'm going to be really disappointed at the end of this if we're not 13-0 and at Christmas. And so here we are. And um, our guys have done a heck of a job, right, making that come to – uh, fruition. Uh, it'll, it'll be tough to go there and win, but you know we're, we're excited about being able to play a good team to finish off the the first semester. All right, Coach. Well, success to you all, and and the opportunity then to meet that goal, another goal, thirteen and zero. It is a possibility for you there again, taking on William Woods, the Owls up in Fulton, Missouri, on Monday. Coach Chris Wright, thank you so much for taking time with us today. We look forward to getting to visit with you again a little bit later on in the season, hopefully. But the Lions are undefeated right now. And again, in your tenure, still undefeated there in Langston. Congratulations on the season so far. And, and thanks for spending time with us today here on the Summit. Joey, I appreciate you having me. Hey, hopefully at the end of March, we can still say the same thing. That'd be great, wouldn't it? <laughs> that would be great, Coach.